Making small changes to the way we edit every day can vastly improve the professionalism of our videos. Things like spelling mistakes, badly framed shots and messy timeline edits are all things that make content look a little amateur, but the good news is these can all be avoided. So in this week's video from the Luma Touch Academy, we're kicking you off with some tips and tricks on how you can tidy up your videos in the Luma Fusion timeline. First things first, get your timings right. Whether you're working with a piece of video on the main track or B-roll on a layer above, it's crucial you pay attention to the length of your clips to ensure they don't end quicker than you need them to or go on longer than you'd like. For example, look at this clip here. The B-roll has been added hastily and doesn't quite cover the jump cuts on the track below, causing it to look like a messy edit. It's a simple error that could easily be avoided. So take the time to check you've sufficiently covered the parts of your timeline that you need to, zooming all the way in to edit frame by frame if needs be. Remember you can do this by pinching in until you get the white vertical strip here, or by tapping three times on the timeline. When you're layering multiple clips on top of one another, with for example your watermark, text and titles and any other clips on screen, it can be a bit more fiddly, especially if you're working on a smaller device. So let's say I want all of these clips to end together in a neat and tidy manner, so not like this example here where they're all stopping at different times. Of course, I could manually drag them in to trim them all to the same length, but even then it's easy to make a little mistake by a frame or so. So instead here I'm going to split all the layers in one go by tapping the scissors icon when no clips are selected to slice through the content, ending it all at exactly the same point. To do this I need to ensure the playhead is exactly where I want the clips to end. So let's assume I want all these clips to finish in line with this one on the main track. I'm going to tap this arrow icon here to line it up with the end of this clip. If you prefer, remember you can swipe left and right on the preview window to move a frame at a time along the timeline and find the right spot for you. So I'm happy here, now when I tap the scissors, the playhead will act like a guillotine and slice everything under it in the same spot, ensuring all the clips end at the same time. You'll just delete any excess clip here that sits after the cut like this. And now you can be sure everything ends exactly where it's supposed to, all together very neatly. This technique is also very useful at the end of your video to ensure you get a beautiful, neat finale to your project, or if you want to ensure your video lasts a particular amount of time and not a frame over. Secondly, get specific. There are many techniques you can employ in LumaFusion to get a little more specific with your editing, resulting in your work looking a lot neater. For starters, take note of the framing of your clips. When we're in the frame and fit editor, it's easy to move our shots around and play with the size and rotation, but take the time to look in the corners of your frame and see if any parts are accidentally not covered. It's easy to forget when we're looking at the main action in the center of the frame, but it takes two seconds to check this and it will make your video look a lot neater. Now the sliders here, available across all of the editors, will help you be more specific with your movements or changes you want to make, but if you want to set the numerical values to a specific amount, make use of these arrows on the left and right of them for incremental change. In this case you can see I'm moving 0.1 to the right every time I tap, a small movement that can make a big difference when you need to put clips, shapes or titles in an exact position. So in this example I want to line these two clips up. By using the arrows on the sliders, I can get it looking perfect. If you've done this before or have a set position you like in mind, you can even go one step further and tap this pencil icon to enter the number you want to use or just tap one of the preset values here. This is also a really useful tool, by the way, to line up text in the title editor on exactly the same X or Y position. Now when it comes to getting specific, if you're struggling to view or edit your content on a smaller screen, remember you can always change the layout by selecting an option that suits you best down here at the bottom right of your editor, or resize the interface yourself by dragging it about manually to give you a more personalized view of your content and timeline. If that's still a little small and you haven't got quite used to that yet, you can connect your device to an external monitor if you want to see your work on a bigger screen. And lastly, look out for rogue edits. 
Now, of course, it's hard to catch everything the first time we're editing a project. So take the time to go through your timeline, checking for one potential area of messy editing at a time. For example, you could firstly skim through your entire project looking for spelling errors. Next, skim through the project looking for any misplaced clips or ones that might have accidentally jumped around while you're editing another section. It's also worth checking the audio levels through, so close your eyes and listen to the project, ensuring the correct sections can be heard loud and clear, making any audio level adjustments that you need to. Also remember that when you export a project, the editor will take into account the tracks you've muted and blinded here, so make sure you've set this as desired. And finally, before you export, double tap the preview box here to watch your entire video back on a full screen. So set yourself up nice and comfy, preferably with a cup of tea, and sit back, relax, and enjoy your content as if you're watching it for the first time. When you're in this relaxed and focused mode, this will help to highlight any areas that need changing before you go and share it. If you've got any tips and tricks of your own when it comes to tidying up your editing, please do let us know in the comments below. For live online training from the LumaTouch Academy, we've got new dates added on our website. So go, 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 and we hope to see you there. Thanks so much for tuning in everyone and I'll see you again next week.